Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location, a really neat spot found in the desert. I mean it's cool because we got this sort of man-made oasis, we got these uh, awesome tents. You know, spend, I'd rather spend some time in here than out here, honestly, because out here it looks really hot and these trees don't really provide much uh, shade. It seems like it could be nice uh, in there, but I'm assuming this building is also quite nice to be in. Uh, and, oh, look at that. You've also got ATVs. You can take those out and uh, ride the... I mean, there's not huge dunes, but honestly, maybe that's a little bit safer because, uh, you know, if the dunes are too... Oh, there's a person here. I didn't even notice there was a person uh, out there. Uh, so that's really cool. Anyways, the the point is, where in the world is this? It's time for me to guess. And I'm going to go with Northern Africa on this one. Somewhere like uh, like Libya, I think, is a good idea. So sort of let's go uh, sort of south of Tripoli, somewhere like right there. Sounds about right to me, honestly. So make the guess and the answer. Not at all. We are, we are in UAE, United Arab Emirates. Very, very cool uh, indeed. We find ourselves in a place best known as... Ah, okay. We find ourselves in a place best known as Tilal Liwa. There you go. I'm not going to click on that because that would probably bring me to uh, to like a link or something. Oh, there you go. You, find, you can see exactly where it is. 4.3 stars out of 5. That's not bad. There you go. So, very cool camel ranches and stuff like that. I mean, it's just southwest of Abu Dhabi in uh, one of the places like it's, it's out over here you know it's a uh, it's not uh, it's not this area over here which is uh, you know the, the the sort of area of Dubai you see uh, not, not Dubai my god of uh, you know the Arab Emirates you see a lot of but uh, there you go it's down over here are these mountains or what is what is this uh, what is this crescent shaped object here what is it what does that mean oh it looks like it's like looks like places that are built up wow okay Look at that. There's like roads and stuff over there. That's interesting. I guess I wouldn't have expected that. Very cool. Anyways, 4,066 kilometers. Not too close, really. Uh, turns out we were not in Africa, northern Africa. We were out over here, you know, at Arab Emirates. Very, very cool. Hopefully some of you guys got close. Alrighty. Here we are in, yes, not yesterday's, in today's daily challenge location. A really, really cool mountain area now uh, it is known that my favorite locations to choose for the daily challenge are either down by the beach or up in the mountains and this is one of those two up in the mountains but these mountains are really cool especially I, I really like this this area over here this little chunk of uh, of land right here I don't know something about about this there's a steep rocky slope that's over here like the the sand and then this beautiful green area with these sparse little trees oh it looks like it'd be great to just I don't know, be right on the top, right on top over here, have a picnic or something, uh, look out, it really does look quite nice, at least from afar, it looks like this would be a great place to just be, well, it seems like these people like hanging out um, right around here, seems to be quite a few, you know, places to go, a lot of cars parked over here, trucks and stuff, and look at this road, I mean, it's one of these roads that look like this, it is a very, very nice road, and it looks like it's even two lanes on each side, so you got a lot of you got, you got a lot of driving you can do. So that is really really cool. Oh man, and look in the distance, we got snowy topped mountains over there as well. So where in the world do you think we are? That is what the daily challenge is all about. So put it down in the comment section below. Tell me where in the world do you think this is? If you're the person that guesses closest, I'll announce you as the winner in tomorrow's video's comment section. Now you don't win any prize, but you do win glory. So, where in the world do you think we are right now? Alrighty, oh, here we are. Beach front waterway. My god, look at these awesome big houses that we can see over here. This looks like a great place to be, but welcome back to the main section of today's episode. Main section, as always, is a viewer challenge, but just because the picture we wound up in is so interesting, I'm going to make a guess. I'm going to guess we're somewhere in uh, Long Island, New York, something like that. Let's make a guess, and the answer was no, it wasn't Long Island. It was oh, this sort of area in North Carolina, this uh, sort of, um, I don't know exactly what you call this, but it's, it's this thing. As it really, really cool. Anyways, like I was saying, this is a viewer challenge episode. As always, one brought to us by Ryan Green. 
Thank you so much, Ryan Green, for this challenge. Now, there is no... Um, you guys can see I've already clicked on this challenge. I think you can see it right there. Uh, the reason for that is I just wanted to make sure it was a new one because Ryan Green has sent a bunch of them. Uh, it is, of course, a new one. So thank you so much. There's no uh, theme to this one. It's just a challenge. But if you guys want to send me challenges, I would, of course, you know, I always need them because uh, more and more episodes. Uh, I'm doing these uh, every day now, so I need more viewer challenges. Uh, this one's by Ryan Green. You can go to geosetter.com, create your custom challenge, and send it to me. Five custom locations, wherever you want to put me in the world. You can even add a theme. Send it to me using the YouTube inbox system. And there you go. So let's start this one up. And if you guys want to find a link to this, you can check down the description below and find it. So where are we? We are in America. Ronald McDonald House. Okay, so that is like a... Um, I forget what I forget what Ronald McDonald House is. It's a it's a charity um, for for children of some sort, children that are in need of a of a home or a place to to stay during the during the day. I'm not exactly sure what Ronald McDonald House is, but there you go. It's a charity association founded by McDonald's. You know, a lot of companies have their own uh, charity associations, and then you go Ronald McDonald House. I guess is one of the Ones that uh, McDonald's does. I'm not sure if they have more than one. They probably do, to be honest, right? Um, you know, businesses, they do like donating to uh, to charities, not only to make them look good. I mean, donating to charities to make them look good, of course, is uh, probably one of, the, one of the things. You know, they also care in real life. That's one of the things. And also to save money on taxes. So there you go. Where in America are we right now? Because it's on American flag, so we're in America. Luxury living, we find ourselves. There you go. High, high, uh, come experience life at high pointa, high pointa, I don't know what that means. We can see license plates, and they're the license plates, I keep forgetting where they're from. So we got blue, white, and yellow, for whatever reason, I'm thinking Pennsylvania when I see that, but I don't really know. It's not really license plates. No, no, these are different kind of license plates. I don't, I don't really know what they are. Um, lock it or lose it. Okay, so something about, you know, lock up your home. Bicycle? Probably not home, I would imagine. Salon hair success spa. Okay, well, that's, that's very nice. We're not in, I mean, there's a few states that I know we're not in because of the license plates, but the one that we actually are in is one that I'm unfamiliar with. At the, I mean, I'm obviously familiar with the state. I'm just unfamiliar with which one it is by, by looking at the license plates and the stores that I see there. Um, you know, stop and go. It's a gas station. Of course, another gas station that we don't have up here in Canada. Can I see this truck over here? It seemed like this one might have been a good bet. Nothing on the side of your truck. My God. You can at least have something that shows off what state you're from. That'd be really nice. If we see a U-Haul truck, it'll probably just say sort of Arizona on the back. It seems like all U-Haul trucks I see just say Arizona on the back. Um... For whatever reason. Not the license plates. No, they've got like a big old decal that says like Arizona. Something like that. I have no idea why, but it's just all U-Haul trucks that are here seem to have come from Arizona. Or just have a decal on them about Arizona. Or like squids. That's right, they have a decal about squids uh, often on them as well. So, where is this nice little town? Well, maybe it's in Oregon, you know. Uh, some people probably know by uh, this phone number right over here. Ron's Lauman. Ron Lauman Motors. Okay, Ron, not Ron's. What do we got here? Verizon, premium wireless retailer. B Mobile. Doesn't really help me very much. Is anything over here? Anyone patriotic about their own state or something? Healthy Blast. Wow, that looks definitely, definitely healthy, I would say. I don't know where, where we're going to be. Honestly, this is just this. All, all this t says to me is we're in America. Where in America? I don't know. The climate looks like it could almost be anywhere. What kind of dome is this? Fargo dome. Oh, yeah. Fargo dome. Well, I think we are in everyone's favorite state. The one, the only, the great state. I mean, the really... It, it by far is the best state in America, by far better than its northern uh, brother or sister or relative. We're in South Dakota. 
course, I'm kidding. We're in North Dakota. I know. I know. We're in, we're in North Dakota. Oh, I mean, we hell, we could be in uh, we could be in Minnesota, I guess. But uh, the point is, I was making a joke. I was pretending as if I was going to say a compliment about North Dakota that I said it about South Dakota. But in fact, I really knew. Uh, there you go. That's right. Forgot. Ryan Green, I think you are from North Dakota, if I had to imagine. So let's go, I mean, pretty much on the main road, I guess. Let's make the guess. There we are. Fargo. There you go. So that's what the license plate looks like. 173. 635 kilometers. Uh, 6,335 points. Kind of going crazy, I guess. So where's this? All right. Everyone, help build your playground. Free food, free children. Oh, free child care. Okay, not free children. Ildil Wild Community Center. Okay. Well, that's interesting. We're in America as well. You can see there's a nice American prices on the gas right there because they're per gallon, not per liter, which uh, there you go. So we're in America yet again in a snowy type area. We're not in Alaska. We there's a lot of places we can be. We could be in we can be in North Dakota yet again. It's you know very well could uh, it could be the case. North Dakota just is a place. Pine Pine Cove Banning and Fern Valley. Wow. Okay. I want to go to the Fern Valley. This looks like a really nice town. Maybe we're in Colorado. Not really sure best there you go green something all right this is, this is a really nice place i really do like this place quite a bit i think this is a nice place to be i'd like to visit here in fact i think this would be a nice place to go look at this oh really is nice california is the answer okay california all righty so we're in california do i think we are it's like a little bit uh like around uh, over over here yeah, no maybe not not death valley Somewhere like, uh, like, like, where, where are the mountains in California? The people do stuff on. Is it over here? I don't, I don't really know where it is. Maybe it's around here or something. I, I really, honestly, don't really know. I wish I did. I don't though. I'm gonna guess like, uh, no, not Reno. Somewhere like around here or something. Yeah, sure, right in there. That sounds good to me. Fire station near Redding. I think is a good idea. Well, let's go down this way and, and check out. Uh, no, we can't go down that way. That's fine. We'll go. We'll go up here and see if there's anything more that we can see. This is a really nice place. Mountain high pet grooming. Oh wow, look at that. You can uh, groom your pet sheep. I think it's a dog, not a sheep, but uh, that's fine. I see. Ill. Well, we're in a place called Idil Wild, which is just kind of. I mean, a really a really interesting name. But I'm not going to go looking for it. I'll never find it. It's pretty small. Let's make a guess. We were much more south than this. But wow. Okay. There it is. Wow. That was a very beautiful place. Idyll Wild. Pines Camp. What a nice place that is. I really would like to go there. Well, maybe if ever I take a trip to uh, LA, I might uh, take a road trip all the way over here. Sounds like it could be a lot of fun. 2188. Very nice. So where are we now? Well, this looks like it could be the same place. Well, kind of. Not really. This looks like it could be a lot of places, really. I believe we're in America again, doing a tour of uh, the great country that is America. Uh, let's, let's make sure. Yep, we are in America, indeed. So we see that. And what else? What else do we see? Centennial Trail. Spring Creek. Okay. I don't know what state we're in. The state could be. Uh, this is this really. It is really tough. It's always tough to figure this one out. We could be in a lot of places, I guess. This kind of feels like this kind of feels like California too, really. This kind of feels like uh, it feels like a sort of westerny area, and that I'm like in over here. Maybe maybe even like counting the Midwest. Feels like we're over here. Doesn't I don't think we're over here, like in any of these states. I think we're in some of these states over here. Could be something like, um, I mean, it could be Oregon, Idaho. It could be so many. It could be Arizona, New Mexico. It'd have to be northern. 
uh, Arizona or New Mexico, I think. I don't really know. Maybe it doesn't necessarily need to be. Oh, hold on. There was something over there. It might be a sign that will reveal the secret of this road. Where are we? No, we're not going to see it. Adopt a highway. Litter control. American Institute Chem of Chemical Engineers. Okay. So, it's chemical engineers. Well, uh, where would where would those be? It would adopt a road in Texas, I like to think. Uh, Dakota? One of the Dakotas, then. We're going to go with... Should we go with south or north? Oh, let's go with north again. Let's go with north again. Kind of near, kind of near Montana. Let's go. Uh, let's go for a little Miz no, not national grassland. Let's go for like, uh, uh, like down over here, or something. Yeah, somewhere like, like down, like down right there. Sounds good to me. I think. Doesn't really seem how no, we, we're not there. Look at look how twisty this road is. This road is way too twisty for it to be any one of these. Oh, but hey, we'll never really know. It's probably in between roads and stuff like that. This looks like it's a really flat area, though. Maybe we're up here or something. Sure, let's go. Let's go places right in there. Make the guess, and the answer was South Dakota. Ah, oh, South Dakota. I kind of wanted to go South Dakota, but I decided to go North just because it always seems to be North Dakota with you. But again, it was not. It was South. Twenty-four seventy-three. Your Rapid City. Okay. Whoa. Big construction going on here. We are... What are we building? Well, what language are we seeing? Um, uh, uh, Cambodian? This is Cambodia? Is that what this is? It's very hard to tell. I, I really don't know. Okay. Well, what, what else can I see? Um... I just, I just don't, I just don't know. Cambodia feels like it's not a bad guess. Uh, looking, yeah, see, it looks, it looks like that, I think. I don't think it's Thai, that's for sure. And, uh, Cambodia sounds like it could definitely be it. Tang Meng Rath Investments, sure. Lots of scooters and stuff. Well, we're probably somewhere in Phnom Penh, I would guess. I think Cambodia has been mapped, actually. Now that I think about it, I think Cambodia was mapped not too long ago. Does this say Caltex? Is that really a gas station that they have? Caltex. It's interesting. I would not have expected that, really. Great oil from California and Texas. Although, you know, probably that's probably not what that means. But uh, there you go. We can get uh, delicious harness the juice of a of an orange of an apple and of this fruit right over here which I don't really know the name of sour something sour sore I don't know what is that what does that taste like probably taste actually I think I've tasted I think I've seen a candy that's that's flavor before and it was quite good remember it was like uh, it was at some sort of restaurant where they gave a candy that I think was that flavor instead of giving a mint they had some kind of a green sort of candy like that and I thought man this that, that tastes pretty good I think that was it. All right. We going with Phnom Penh or Phnom Penh? Yeah, Phnom Penh, I believe. Yeah, there you go. we'll go with that. Uh, wow, that's a cool looking chair. My God, be like a robot in that. So let's make the guess. And the answer was it was indeed Phnom Penh. Very, very cool. 6108. All right, where's the next location going to be? Okay. Okay. Maybe same part of the world, but not necessarily the same country. Maybe the same part of the world. What do we see over here? We see something that says whiteboard. Okay, well, that does It's not, all right. What do we see? Here? Oh, I think it says Thailand. Oh, no, it doesn't. I just made that up. Okay, dot, dot what? I couldn't see. There was a website there, and it said, uh, dot co, dot it. What? Uh, is that the co, dot KT to co dot I don't know I, I I just I have no idea dot something to co dot something I uh, all right I don't know I don't know where we are Malaysia maybe oh, what do the license plates look like are they what color are they well let's go take a look at those are they they're black oh yeah license plates are black and or and or white and yellow they're all sorts of colors 
Um, okay, bank. This this bank might be able to help. Bank. Bri. Bri. B R I. What? Uh, am I missing something? I must be missing something completely. All right, there's got to be something. There's got to be something about this that I'm just not getting. Hmm. What? Am, what? India, I guess, is the answer because the it's rupees. So, at least we figured that out. All right, we're in India. Okay. Well, I like that. Um. Uh, yeah, India. India is the answer. That's really all we needed to get there. India. Okay, we're in India. Let's go with uh, let's go with something like uh, Kolkata in India on this one. Make the guess and the answer. Well, there you go. Indonesia was the answer. Jakarta was where we were. I guess uh, Jakarta has been mapped out recently, which is really cool. I think it's the first time we actually see part of mapped out uh, Jakarta, which is really really neat. Black license plates. Uh, there you go, that makes sense. But uh, we also saw different colored ones. Okay, very, very cool. I guess that the fact that Indonesia has been mapped out recently kind of threw me off. 1678. All right, and that gives me a grand total of 18782. That was very awesome. Started off in the great state of South Dakota. South Dakota, Fargo. Then we went over to California. Wow, really, really cool. Finally, to the great, great state of South Dakota yet again. Uh, this time it's this South Dakota, the other one, the uh, even better South Dakota. Then we went off to Cambodia. That was pretty sweet. Phnom Penh. And finally, not India, but Indonesia. And there you go. Of course, I'm just joking. North Dakota is pretty sweet as well. Um... Did I like the, which one, I don't know, which one did I, I think I liked the North Dakota one. I think I liked Fargo better than uh, where we were in South Dakota, actually. But uh, there you go. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, tune in tomorrow for more hot GeoGuessr action. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh yeah. Have a good one.